So let's say you have a screen recording uh, that you've saved here. Maybe this is a Zoom recording of an entire lesson, or maybe this is just something you did as a screen recording, and the video has something in it you might want to cut out. Maybe there's something at the beginning you need to take out at the end, or maybe there's a student who popped in in the middle that you want to be able to cut out of this video. So if that's the case, what I can do is when I double click that video to open it, it'll open in QuickTime Player. And with that video open, you have a few options. So if I need to take something off just the beginning or the end, then what I want to do is I want to go to edit and I want to go down here to trim. And what that will do is that gives me this yellow bar that represents the entire video. So I could either drag from the right side or the left side in order to select the part of the video I want to keep and then I click trim and it will keep that part and get rid of anything that was outside of that yellow selection. And then all I have to do is go to file and save and it'll ask me where I want to save it and what I want to call it. Um, and that's it. Now, if I need to get rid of something that's in the middle of a clip, um, then what I can do is I'm going to move my little playhead here. I'm going to play it right to the point that I want to cut it out. So maybe right here. And if you need to get really precise, you can actually use the arrow keys on the keyboard um, to move one tiny fraction uh, of a second at a time. So let's say right here is where I need to cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to edit and I'm going to do what's called a split clip. So instead of a trim, I want a split clip. And what that's going to do is that's going to make a cut right here. So this is the first part of my clip. And then this is the second part. So I made a split right here. So now what I can do uh, is if I hit done, I can move to the end of where I wanted to get rid of. So if I want to get rid of this area in the middle, I go right to the beginning of where I want it to go away and split the clip. I move to the end of where I want it to go away. And then I can go to edit and split clip again. And I should now have three clips here. It's kind of hard to see, but this is clip one, this is clip two, and this is clip three. So in order to get rid of the middle one, all I have to do is click on it, hit the delete key in the keyboard, it removes it, and now there's just two clips. It'll play from one to the next. I go ahead and click done, and then go to file save again, and uh, save my changes. And that's all there is to it, to make some quick, easy uh, trims using just QuickTime Player uh, on a video clip.